Hello, welcome to the Look Smarter Than You Are with S-Base Configuration Settings series. In this video, we'll look at the Data Error Limit setting. The Data Error Limit setting would be used in your S-Base Configuration Settings file. Of the different categories for the configuration file, the Data Error Limit setting would fall under the Logging and Error Handling category. So what is this setting used for? Well, it sets the maximum number of records that can be written to the error log during data load or dimension build operations. After the specified number of errors that have been recorded, SBase fails the operation and issues an error message. Here we have the syntax for the data error limit, where n is the number of records per data load or dimension build that can be written to the error log which normally you can find on your desktop. The default setting is at 1,000, and the maximum for the setting is at 65,000. Here are some notes on the data error limit setting. The S-based log data error can be found under the client folder of the installation. Also there, you can also find the S-based log dimension build error. The messages are still written to the application log unless you set the non-message logging on data error limit. Here is an example of where the data error limit is used in an S-base config file. We set the limit here at 10,000 rows. So where, when S-base encounters the 10,000th row of data load or dimension build, it will stop the operation and issue an error message and tell you that the operation was not successful. So one last thing, anytime you make a changes to the S-base config file, you must restart the S-base server for your changes to take effect.